Hey guys, and welcome to part two. Buckle in for a bottom end adventure. We're gonna unbuckle the crank, get all the pistons out, and um, yeah, basically the rest of the disassembly and painting the block. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same Way. Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain if you Alrighty, so we're into the sump, into the bottom end of the engine you can see coolant. Coolant has actually made its way all the way into the gear. So yeah, coolant has done its job. So we'll take off the oil cinder. Um, oh, that's a dipstick. Hello, dipstick. Yeah, coolant. So we'll take off the oil cinder. Then we'll start. Pulling off pistons, weighing it out as we take them off, and then we'll start taking off the uh, big bearings, so the main bearings and the um, what are they called? The, the other bearings. So we'll take them off. Cylinder one, cylinder two, three, four. This is all the sump bolts. It's what I've been doing to stay organised labeling labeling everything and then putting them into individual bags so that is going to help you put it all back together so I'll show you that process left handed just like that and tilt them in there. Can't do it all one handed. Never really notice what you want 
With you, I don't ever feel calm. I can feel the sweat inside my palms. Play with me like cats and a string. You don't understand the pain it brings. You don't ever wanna give me wings. You don't ever wanna set me free. You know I'm addicted to you. And it's twisted, you've been gifted with the evil voodoo. Got me coming back for more, even when I've been screwed. Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through. Got issues in my head I like you in my bed But you keep me on red Oh, everything is like a test I better not text or I'll come off desperate But if I lay down and I play dead And I stay dead Baby, you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Thinking something out of my Dead. Will you regret everything that you did, that you said I don't think you understand what you're doing And my heart's black and blue from the bruising I feel like when I'm with you I'm losing I feel like you think that this amusing Sitting there gaslighting and confusing Was it me, is it me, am I deluded? I'm the one who's always sorry, the conclusion Even though I offer all of the solutions I wish you loved me like I love you, it's stupid When I'm alone with you, I never feel lucid I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid I wish when I first saw you, I knew this When I'm with you, I feel so useless I feel diluted, my heart's been wounded Silhouettes of you are like a time Never really know just what you want with you, I don't ever feel calm. All right, so I've got the pistons out. One, two, three, four. They're saying look a bit off to four to you. Big bend. As you can see four is actually bent. So, um, looks like I'm going to be buying some con rods too. So, yeah, four is poop. No good. Alrighty, well, this front face pretty stripped down. This water pump is pretty rooted. You can see there's all sorts of shit going on. Not amazing. Um, so I'll rip off this case and that should show us the timing gears. I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of sh** come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Had to rise up just so they could see me Did what I had to do just to feed me And what was left over I put towards my dreaming But the only thing in life that has meaning Are the things you gotta work for, believe me Take into your hands a plan Your own hands can land your own brand And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability They want the credibility Alrighty Crankshaft There she is So with the big end bearings they got a little notch there, lines up with here, all these faces forward on the engine. So I'll show you again how I, how I organise. Alright, here we are. The block is completely stripped. Looking pretty bloody good. Still a sense, uh, uh there's a sense on it right there. Right there. So I'll pull that off. Four, please. 
and I'm gonna start cleaning. So we've got our sanders back, all cleaned up. I have some rust converter paint here, and I'm gonna go through and get all the spots that I couldn't get very easily. But yeah, she's looking tidy, all sealed up. No paint should get inside the block at all. Yeah, good to go. So two layers of this base coat, and then over here, this is the top coat I'm doing. Managed to get a cheap Holden Orange. It's going on a Mazda, so who cares? Yeah, stick around for the painting. Here we are, second layer, or more like third coat of that rust converting primer. It's looking pretty slick, if I do say so myself. Got in all the areas where I just, where I just couldn't get a grinder or a die wheel or anything. Pretty, pretty bloody happy with the undercoat. So on this surface here, I'm actually planning on not painting it at all. I know there is a little bit of surface rust there. I might simply just get a uh, some rust converter, like brush on rust converter, wipe it off, just use that to do a quick little convert, but I don't really want to mess with like this surface, the mating surface. I don't want to put paint on that for the gearbox spin this around quickly check the back side so yeah covered all my bases if you ask me I reckon it looks fucking great a whole lot better than it did before no runs it's gonna come up mean I am worried how the red paint is going to show up up against the black primer. Even if we're going to do like five coats, that's what will happen. But yeah, looking pretty bloody juicy. So I'll leave that for about half an hour. Come back to it and... Alrighty, so that paint is actually very orange. The, um, the cap on the tin that I'd be pretty misled. <laughs> now that I'm putting them next to each other, probably not. 
Maybe my eyes are just going fuck, but that looks that looks really red to me. More red than orange anyway. But I'm actually really happy with that. It looks sick. No, I didn't really care if it was red, orange, green, blue. So that's holding orange. So it's probably sacrilege considering that this engine goes in a Ford as well. Here's me not giving a fuck, because I don't. Hang on. Ooh. The old one-handed. Nice. But yeah, so I'm not swapping out those Welsh plugs because they're actually in really good condition. But um, she looks great. So as I say that, missed a tiny bit in there, just, just down in there. Not a big deal. It did get I got the primer in there, so I'm not too worried. But um how good does that look? Massive difference. So there was a bit of overspray on the back here. But I'll um I use metho on a scotch brush when I'm about to fit the gearbox or when I pull it off the stand. And I'll clean up that mating surface. Not too, as I said, not really worried, too worried. So this is the top of the engine here. Looks pretty sick. Pretty bloody happy compared to how it was. It's gonna look great when all that um all that masking tapes off and the engine's actually going back together. Let me know what you think. Do you like the orange or do you reckon I should have just left it with the primer layer? Personally, I like the orange, and I'm real happy.